Welcome, gentle listener. I am Baltimore, your faithful servant, and I wish to introduce you to the forces, factions, and units of the Warhammer 40k universe. The grim darkness of the far future, where there is no time for peace, there is only time for war. Now, I would note that I am doing lighter entries until the end of the year, as I am indeed in need of a little break. That said, we return to the disgusting world of Grandfather Nurgle, the dark chaos god of disease and corruption. And so, today, we are to discuss some of the most ardent and effective servants, those who do his work most abundantly and most obviously, his Biologus Putrefiers. For the truly faithful of Nurgle do not wish just war and destruction, they strive for the fecundity of his plagues and poxes to be spread amongst the stars. The Death Guard may be the hammer by which he chastises those who ignore his bounty, but it is in the Biologus Putrefiers that we see his great work, the spreading of his many infections, fulfilled. As Astartes of the Death Guard, these ancient plague marines now promoted to plague creators are the beating heart of the purpose of this legion, and their service to the Grandfather. And so, as usual, for the very basics, let us lean on existing wisdom. To quote, Biologus Putifiers. The great labour of the Death Guard is to spread Nurgle's bounteous gifts to every corner of real space. The Biologus Putifiers have a vital role to play in this process, for it is they who refine the batches of diseased slurry brewed by the foul Blightspawn and distill them to utmost potency. Biologus putrefiers bear a unique mutation, lidless milky eyes that grow like cysts concealed beneath their flesh. Known as oculobes, the gaze of these foul orbs can penetrate armor, flesh and bone to perceive every nuance of an infection spread throughout a living body. Putrefiers croak out their observations to scurrying menials and capering demonic scribes, filling tomes of mouldering parchment with forbidden lore. Driven by an obsessive desire to test their plague batches to perfection, Biologius putrefiers take a very active role in spreading disease upon the field of battle. From their backs dangle racks of blight grenades, churning with the latest strains of noxious plagues to issue from the disease factories. Death's heads drip fetid slime, brittle glass alembics seethe with bubbling fluids and potent gases. With every movement these flasks and vessels rattle and clink together, threatening to shatter and spill their noxious contents. As the fury of battle rages around them, the putrefiers urge their brother plague marines to pluck the blight grenades from their racks like spoiled fruit and fling them into the ranks of the foe. With each volley of hurled ordnance, the epidemic spreads. The biologious putrefiers watching every nuance as though in slow motion through their oculobes, yet to simply observe is not their way. Samples must be extracted, and tests must be run. This is when the injector pistols come into play. Striding into the midst of their reeling foe, the putrefiers pick out the most intriguing entities to assail. Some look for the most resilient enemies upon the field of battle. Others seek the most easily infected, the bravest, the swiftest, or whatever other esoteric criteria they decide their test subjects must display. With their victims selected, the biologious putrefiers strike. They fire their injector pistols into vulnerable spots such as exposed flesh, chinks in armor and eye lenses before squeezing a concentrated dose of foulness into the target's body. The results are rarely less than spectacular, with victims erupting in explosive boils, liquefying into screaming sludge, vomiting billowing clouds of flies and countless other revolting and mercifully lethal symptoms. Those specimens, whose deaths are especially fascinating, are pierced with injector pistols once again, this time to extract whatever clotted foulness now passes for their blood, ready for later study. Those enemies who understand a threat posed by biologious putrefiers do everything in their power to kill them swiftly. Yet even this may prove their undoing. For should a putrefier be struck by sufficient firepower, or a powerful enough blow, the attack is liable to rupture his rack of blight grenades, releasing their deadly contents in a billowing cloud that slaughters any nearby who lack Nurgle's blessings. Disease Factories 
the disease factories of the plague planet are as bloated and corrupt as the beings that wander their halls. They are sprawling abominations of gurgling pipes, bubbling vats, belching smokestacks and rusted cages crammed with test subjects and living ingredients. So vast are they that their masters, the foul blightspawn and biologus putrefiers, had divided them into virtual nations, each ruled by the blightspawn elder that festers at their hearts. Million strong mortal cults reside in these factories, scurrying to do the bidding of their foul masters and worshipping the plague marines as demigods of Nurgle, even as they slowly sicken and die. Devoted to brewing the plagues favoured by their ruling elders, these rag-clad lunatics regularly engage in sectarian warfare through the smog-wreathed passages and brewing chambers, much to the amusement of their Death Guard masters. End quote. Ah, the Biologius Putrefiers. Some of the nastier traitor Astartes one can meet, for although they may face you directly, may pretend that an honourable matching of skill against skill, blade on blade, may be forthcoming, it is then that they slip in with their rancid injector pistol. The one graze, the one second of them getting past your guard, and they can end your existence. But often it is so very long in the coming. It is not an end I would wish on my worst enemy, if I had any, for the victim is not only slain in the most messy, painful and ignoble of ways, but all the while they have to view the biologist standing above them, potentially noting every last shudder, pain racked judder or cry. Recording their last moments in a scrapbook, like a twisted child gleefully recording the thrashing of a fly with its wings torn off. And in your death, the Biologius merely works out the way to make his weaponry, his horrific plagues more effective, more lethal, more painful, ever more likely to induce a woeful cry to the grandfather for peace and an end to the suffering, if one lasts that long. The presence of a single Biologius putrefier can be the death knell of an entire world. It is not difficult to see why the Death Guard and the forces of the Grandfather are some of the most feared in all of the myriad lesions at the Dark God's command. I have been Baldemort, your faithful servant. I hope you have enjoyed this brief introduction to Biologius putrefiers. If so, then please do consider liking and subscribing. If you do, then hit the notifications button, as I would not want you to miss out. If you see the worth in what we are doing, then do also consider joining our Patreon, or giving the video a share if that is beyond your present scope. It would be a great boon. Now, no matter what you do today, do try to make some time for fun. Toodaloo.